Music, music is like, is like a, is like a chameleon because it can just, it can just, um, I guess, adapt to whatever mood or um, feeling, feelings you you have. Yeah, I think that's why I personally gravitate to it because I feel like it's a, it's kind of a safe haven for my particular mood. So, starting off with probably the genre I've listened to the most in the past year or two, R&B. Yeah, R&B I feel like is honestly just the chillest genre. Five out of seven days a week, R&B is the way I'm feeling. My most listened to R&B artist recently has got to be Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is definitely my favorite R&B or alternative R&B artist right now. The album, of course, that I like from him right now is Blonde. And the songs on there that really speak to me at the moment are definitely Futura Free and Good Guy. Honestly, they just, they just sound like what my life is like right now. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, another another I guess group or artist that I've been listening to that's in the R&B genre is uh, Blood Orange. Um, the album I've been listening to is Negro Swan. I'm listening to also this this one song off of his other album or EP. I forgot what it is. Four songs, and the song that I really like on there is um, Wish. It's a good song. It just feels like the fall and winter another so this is hard to explain but there's this artist who has kind of all of a sudden stepped into like the rock slash r&b genre out of nowhere and that was little yachty last year with his album let's start here i can't tell you enough how much i love that album i know a lot of people hate it because it's not what he usually does but i i love that album black seminole uh, the ride running out of time. I mean, that's just three examples. I, I mean, I've officially lost vision drive me cra I mean that that album is just full of great songs now. I want to transition to hip-hop and rap um, This is really a genre or two genres. I really don't listen to as much the artist I've been listening to the most in this genre is definitely Kendrick Lamar the albums that I've been listening to the most recently from, from Kendrick are definitely Good Kid Mad City and um, Untitled Unmastered. Favorite songs right now off of Good Kid Mad City got to be Good Kid and Compton and The Art of Peer Pressure. Those are the three that I feel like I listen to the most right now. Um, another one got to be, this is off of Untitled Unmastered, is the song September 21st, 2014. The next hip-hop rap artist I have on my list is definitely uh, MF Doom. Just hit and miss with people. Some people really like him in, in the space and some people don't like it, don't like him at all. He's some, someone I've been starting to listen to more recently. It's a shame that he's not with us anymore. Um, but. Yeah, ever since I've listened to Mad Villainy, I've been hooked. Obviously, I just spoiled it. My most listened to album right now by MF Doom is Mad Villainy. Um, yeah, and 
the songs off there that I, I really like right now are definitely accordion and super accordion and um, the song Curls and Great Day. Moving on, the next uh, hip hop artist that I've been listening to a lot recently and a lot for the past year or so is Childish Gambino. Um, obviously he's a very experimental artist. I really like his hip hop, especially his hip hop on the album um, because of the internet. Something about that album just feels so, so nostalgic to me and I have no idea why. I, like when that album was released, I was in like first grade, so I can't say that, you know, I listened to it when it came out. Some of the tracks on there are a bit repulsive, I'm not gonna lie, but for the most part, most of them I really like, I really enjoy. I really like the track, The Worst Guys. I listened to that album, like on, I mean, that song on repeat last summer. Another one that I've been listening to more recently is The Flight of the Navigator and also Life, The Biggest, uh, the biggest Troll. I wanna give like a small nudge to Tyler, the creator. Uh, I've been listening to him a little less lately than I, I, I have in the past, but you know, in the past couple of years, he's probably like top five most listened to for me. Moving on, next hip hop artist I wanna talk about is Mac Miller. Albums by him that I've been listening to the most recently are Faces, Watching the Movies with the Sound Off, and um, and the single, Colors and Shapes. He's just, I don't know, he just sounds good. I don't know what to say. Some of these artists, I, I don't have any sentimental like connection. I just think they sound good. Favorite songs, uh, Grand Finale from Colors and Shapes, um, or Faces or whatever, whatever the album's called. Objects in the Mirror from Watching the Movies with the Sound Off, and the single, um, colors and shapes love all those songs and there's plenty more that I just absolutely love I love the album circles I'm not trying to diss it but just love Mac Miller the last hip-hop uh, group I want to talk about or just mention for being you know my most listened to re recently is um, Outkast I think Andre 3000 is amazing and I just love I love it I love that group Outkast is amazing most listened to album is definitely uh, Stankonia. I feel like I, I listen to them for the same reason I li listen to MF Doom. They have a retro sound and I just, I really like that. Most listened to songs off of Stankonia gotta be Miss Jackson, of course, um, Toilet Tisha, and Stank Love. Those three are my, my favorites right now. Shifting to my most, most listened to uh, genre, um, right now and really for the past uh, few years uh, this is the genre that I kind of grew up with and that I just really adore um, it, it's got to be classic rock I know I get a lot of slack for that sometimes you know from my own community um, for, for that being my my number one genre but honestly I don't care I will continue to listen to rock and classic rock until I die Anyways, Pink Floyd. Yeah, I, I love Pink Floyd. Favorite albums from Pink Floyd. Uh, gotta be Wish You Were Here, Dark Side of the Moon, we'll go with that, and The Division Bell. Songs, um, number one, Wish You Were Here, Wearing the Inside Out, and The Great Gig in the Sky. Second, I'm going with The Eagles. I love kind of their style, it's kind of like almost like pop rock to me it just feels so like airy and light favorite songs um gotta be desperado um one of these nights and um i can't tell you why that's the song another artist that i listen to a lot is genesis it's a group from england they have some like really nice long songs that i, I really enjoy the cinema show I know what I want in your wardrobe and Firth of Fifth. Fifth of, I think that's how you pronounce it. Firth of Fifth. You should go check out Genesis if you like rock and, you know, that kind of classic rock, I guess. Shifting to uh, my last final genre, uh, it's, it's indie. I don't have a whole lot of bands or, you know, groups in indie that I like, but there are a few. Starting off, I guess, a newer one that's kind of blowing up right now, I think, is uh, Joe by Joe Carey. I know you're going to call me like a hype writer or whatever, like, you know, but like, I feel like they he makes just really good music. 
besides End of a Beginning, I like the tracks On and On. I like um, Roddy, which is a popular one. And, and I like um, Fool. Um, another group that I've been listening to a lot for the past couple of years is the band Men I Trust. Songs I like from them are definitely Serenade of Water and um, Hines from Uncle Jazz and I Hope to Be Around, the single, is a great, great song.